this. Or what, I will do it again now that we're live. Ready? <laughs> he like shits himself. Keep it. Right? Yeah. I did. <laughs> you don't have the balls. It's so fucking funny. Man. You just heard a shark. You right, don't have the balls to keep that in. I think Tim's gonna. Really He's gonna it, so you never know. Tim has the balls to keep it in. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the world of fandom fights. I'm your host, the King Caleb Coho, and what we have is a fandom fight single summer series tournament finals match. And because of how big it is, we have three hosts this week. Uh, it's a historic moment in fandom here to help me co host this one. First, I'll go over to the Hobbit, Robert Parker, my co host. How are you doing, Robert? Uh, that's actually former Summer Series Singles Tournament uh, winner, uh, Robert the Hobbit. Technically, you didn't win a tournament. Just Put gonna some do respect that. Respect on my name. Technically, uh, no, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm I'm really excited to be here. Both <laughs> these guys deserve to be here. They fought their way. They've clawed their way. They've won matches. They've won challenges, and now they are here playing each other. Uh, it's gonna be great. The last time we saw Tim play a teammate, it ended in tears and bloodshed. Will it happen again tonight? Who knows? Here to help uh, us on it's the desk today. Uh, uh, here to help us on the desk today as well is uh, the new hope, the manager of the year, Cody Newberry. How are you doing, Cody? Um, I refuse to be backstage while two of the people that I helped climb to this top uh, play in the match, and I just have to sit backstage. So I will not be asking questions, but I will be watching this live because. Uh, uh, we put a lot of work in to get these guys where they are. They are the current team's champions. Uh, it's the second year in a row that my faction has ran through a tournament and both met in the finals. So I'm really excited to see this outcome. It's the outcome that we've wanted from the start is uh, Tim versus Tuig. So that's the whole goal, and I'm excited to be here with you two. Absolutely. Uh, Nick Tuig's first Summer Series tournament uh, finals coming in the four seed, making it to the finals. Tim Bacala, no stranger to the finals, was last year's Summer Series singles tournament victor, beating Maggie the Macabre Kala in the finals. Uh, it's a it's a family affair. I believe everyone in this call was involved in the finals last year, uh, minus one Nick the name Tuig. Uh, we'll see how this goes. This is going to be a great match. I think this is enough for us. We'll hear what these two have to say right now in their one giant promo. Um, I'm not going to say anything. You guys did their work. You guys uh, bust your ass. I almost cost him the last match. Um, and uh, we've had a lot of opponent's choice bullshit <laughs> on the way here. Uh, and a lot of close matches. Uh, this is the perfect scenario with you guys just being um, just two friends, two tag team partners squaring off for the shot to take Scully's belt. How are you guys feeling? Um, that's actually you're very close to what I was going to say. So, yeah, last year I won this tournament. Um Here's, here's the thing, like, I've actually gotten to play for the title twice. Um, I missed my shot both times. If I get an opportunity to do it a third time by winning today, cool. That's exciting. But Nick's never had a chance. So if he wins today, even better, because then he gets that opportunity as well. Either way, I think one of us is going to go uh, take that thing from Scully, because, I mean, that, that'll be easy to do. I mean, that's just my opinion. Nick, uh, yeah. Yikes. Uh, well, it was very easy to take the first belt uh, uh, from him, so I'm sure the second one would also be uh, quite simple. I'm excited to be here. Tim's really good, like re like the best there is at not losing in tournaments. Uh, he's, he's done that quite often, not lose in tournaments. So, you know, whatever the result today, I won't be shocked. Um, I, this is – I felt more stressed playing like Jim Green than I do today because today I think I'm just going to have fun and I genuinely wouldn't be shocked to lose. So I'm, I'm just ready for that and I'm ready to just have a good match. Yeah, that's the main thing is I just want to have fun today. Today's about fun. One of us is going to go take the belt. So let's just have a good time. I the do stress have, starts tomorrow. So Yes. Yeah. The stress starts exactly starts tomorrow. I do have a proposition, Tim. Maybe you and I, we just sort of keep the score tied mm -hmm. and then we go into sudden death and we keep get it all the way up to 33. And then we see who wins from there. So we beat, yes. So we beat that score. I like it. I like it a lot. I predict 42-41. Let's do this. All right, Robert. That was some fire promo. Uh, it feels like we just saw Cody. There it is. Uh, I think we just saw Cody in the promo. Cody, how are you running back and forth so fast? It's crazy. Just a click of a mouse. A click of a mouse. Uh, but I think very cordial. Uh, a lot of shit talk thrown to the next round. Uh, but this, uh, I like two weeks thing of just... There's no stress. He felt more stressed playing Jim Green. I think that's the nicest thing anyone has said about Jim Green this year. Um, Jim Green is a goon. 
Jim Green is a good. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll get right into round one of this match. What works like this. You're each going to get 10 questions worth one point apiece for 10 different areas within the realm of fandom fight. Should you get all 10 questions correct, you'll be issued a bonus question. You have three repeats for the entirety of the match and a challenge rule. Any questions as we get into round number one? It's, it's 10 questions, you said? 10 questions, yes, sir. So if we if we get eight right, we get a bonus question? Yeah. I that agree. is in the other division. All right. Your first question comes to the category of Marvel. In Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse, what does Peter B. Parker call the drive that will destroy the Collider? Spider-Verse, I'm shocked. Nick, do you know this one? or I got it. We can both oh. get it. Okay, cool. I love the cordial. Just we're gonna, we're gonna keep this going all day. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Nick. Uh, another word for Jim Green: a goober. Uh, and Tim. Goober. Shots at Jim Green all night long. I'm, I'm for it. I am pro Jim Green hate. <laughs> Uh, your next question is going to come in the category of Pixar. These movies based on Pixar comics outside the PCEU. Your question, who voices Hopper in A Bug's Life? You ever had a bug's life? Uh, for the last 90 minutes when I rewatched it just the other day, and it was... Uh, it was, it was I didn't life. ask you if you've seen the film. I said, have you ever had a bug's life? No, no, I have not. Well, that's the answer to the question. There you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Three, two... On Pedzo, we'll start with Tim. Kevin Spacey. And Nick. Kevin. That's correct. And you guys get bonus. You get bonus uh, points for not making a Christopher Plummer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your third question comes to the category of the Wizarding World. Who does Credence go with to visit his supposed real mother in Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald? You know when you guys when they talked about stress, this is the I feel nothing. I feel no stress at all during this match. It's the best best scenario ever. Sit back, relax, and enjoy while two people you love fucking attack each other. Five, four. But more importantly, attack Jim Green. <laughs> what and Jim Green? Pens down. We're gonna start with Nick. Nagini. And Tim. Nagini. Unfortunately. Both are correct, especially with the unfortunately. As we get to the fourth question. All right, next one's in the category of Star Wars. These are movies based on, well, Star Wars. Uh, your question, what is the name of the clone commander who attacks Obi-Wan on Utapau in Revenge of the Sith? I'm always waiting for a hook to come on the screen and, like, pull Robert off stage, like, somewhere. <laughs> well, like, ah! convenient. Maggie is sitting right there with a hook ready, but it's more like a fishing hook that she's going to dig into my eyes. Is she <laughs> there? I thought no, she was no. I, She's in the office, I think. I think they're all in one place. Oh, okay. but... Four. We are. I am in We're under the Rob. same roof. Robert's pens down. We'll start with Tim. Cody. And Nick. Commander manager. And Cody. That is correct, Cody. All right, move to the fifth question. In the category of scores and soundtracks, who composed the score for Batman Forever? I didn't even hear what the question was. So when he said Cody, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible guess. This, this is an underrated one, though, I will say. This theme. You say that. What do you mean? You... The what? score is fine. It's good. Have you listened to the theme recently? Not, I've Robert is glitching. Am I glitching out or is Robert glitching it's out? It's you. One. Pens down. We will start with Nick. Uh, Elliot Golden. Uh, and Tim. I have nothing. All right, five, four, two. He takes the one point. I had nothing. I'm sorry. I'm like looking out. Really he much. seems like he's lagging. You're he lagging, lagging a little bit. bit. You may want Should to leave, come come leave and come back. back. Yeah, leave and come back, Tim. Okay. We'll sit here and make more Jim Green jokes. Uh, it, did Jim Green start COVID nineteen? <laughs> All right, we're back. I don't know if we're going to cut any of that. We'll find out. Uh, your next question is in the category of fandom Oscars. How many Oscars has the collective Worlds of DC franchise been nominated for? My question. If was this, this one? Oh, you have yeah, an This one. was my question, but also, I now see. that Michael Keaton might be in this franchise, does that technically make it all canon? Is all of it the DCEU now? I'm kind no. of wondering that. Five. Figure that out. <laughs> Three, two, one. Pens down. We're going to start with Tim. One? 
And Nick. Just the one. That is correct. Just the Suicide Squad also. All right, your next question is in the category of Bond, James Bond. What is the first and last name of Rafe Fiennes' character in Skyfall? This isn't important for the players or anybody watching, really, but I just like reading the doc, noting that his last name ends in an S, uh, Ray Fiennes', and you still put the apostrophe S after that. That's just a funny thing for me. Listen. Also, I find Skyfall and uh, Spider-Verse surprising. Good. You should. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pat is down. You will start with Nick. Gareth Mallory. And Tim. I knew Mallory. I didn't know the first name. I said Ray. <laughs> Gareth is correct. Two equals ahead. Two to five as we get to the next question. Well, Robert. it's seven to five. It's a two point half. But your next question yes, fuck my uh, is in the category of Disney Live Action. Tim, we're action. having a bad round one get together. <laughs> Damn it. Category of Disney Live Action. Uh, Rob Minkoff directed 1994's The Lion King and what 2003 Disney Live Action film? I'm having I'm having a struggling day. I think I'm struggling. You're you're doing great, bud. You keep it up, sport. Thanks, Dad. All right. It's father to you. Watch your damn mouth. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Tim. Freaky Friday. It's incorrect and Nick. Oh, there's no action. Screwed my perfect round too. Sky high. Also incorrect. Looking for the haunted mansion. Looking for the oh, haunted mansion. mansion. Uh, no perfect rounds here today. So we get to your penultimate question, the category of Planet of the Apes. What's the profession of Limbo, the ape played by Paul Giamatti in 2001's Planet of the Apes? What a dumpster fire. You're not wrong. Well, I was talking about 2020, but this movie too. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> both, are, both are correct. Statements. Got him! <laughs> That guy, fuck, five, four, three, two, one, pens down, we'll start with Nick. He's a human trader slash seller. And Tim. I put human slave trader. Both are correct. Eight, six, as we get into the last question, Robert. All right, yes, your final question in the category of DC movies. In Watchmen, what did Dot, uh, excuse me. In Watchmen, what did Dr. Osterman go back to retrieve when he is caught in the accident that turns him into Dr. Manhattan? Sorry about that. I had uh, a little tongue twist at the start of that. I was going to ask if you're having a stroke. Uh, no. Good. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Tim. His watch. And Nick. That is dog. I don't know where. Watch is correct. So at the end of round one, point for Tim. Round wow. one, Nick holds just a one point lead, eight to seven. But anything can happen is we get to round number two, which works like this. This is the wheel round. You usually get a chance to spin from the lovely world from wheelside.com. If you like the category and land on, you're going to get five questions worth two points a piece. You can opt for multiple choice, but devalues the point down to being only worth one. If you don't like the category land on first, you can spin again, but you're stuck with it the second time. Your categories on the wheel tonight are Star Trek, MCU, Wizarding World, Middle Earth, YA Dystopia, Disney Lab Action, DC, Phantom Oscars, and Spinners and Opponents Choice. Nick, you are in the lead. Would you like to go first or defer to Tim? Well, first of all, now I know why they call it Watchmen. Um, but Yeah. There you go. It's a man in his watch. <laughs> It'd be I, weird if they called it Man Watch. I'm going to get uh, screwed over earlier, so I'll go first. All right, you are going first. Is, is the wheel up, or am I? It yeah. is up. I don't it lands it. on YA Dystopia, Nick. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Um, I will keep that. And also, is shit him go out and back in? I'm gonna, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but yeah, I can't see the wheel at all, so I'm going to leave and come back. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, well, I just uh, do right. So he's so keeping wheel, YA? Yes. Yeah. So the wheel landed on YA Dystopia movies, uh, which is those three franchises of Hunger Games, Maze Runner, and the Divergent series. And I'm excited to keep that. So, Nick, I will give you your five questions worth two points apiece in YA. Remember, there is stealing, there is multiple choice, should you need it. Number one What does Eric make Christina do for her cowardice during a fight in Divergent? Um, she makes her, like, hang from the bridge. That is correct for two points. All right, your next one. 
how does Teresa die in the death cure? Well, uh, she's on top of a building, and then the building gets destroyed, and she falls down into it. That is correct for another two points. Four. I wasn't doing this at the question. I was doing that at Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, your next question. How does Finnick prove he is Katniss's ally at the cornucopia in Catching Fire? He shows her the gold bracelet. That is correct for another two points. Two more questions. Who does Triss have to save during the Dauntless Sim to open the box in Insurgent? Uh, her mother. That is correct for two more points. And your final question. What is the name of the former stylist in the games who helps Katniss and her team hide in Mockingjay Part 2? I believe she's also a Kung Fu master, but Tigress. That is correct for another two points and a clean sweep of round two for Nick, going up 18 to Tim's seven as Tim now has his chance at the wheel. Your chance at the wheel, Tim. Your spin is away. And lands on the category of Disney live action. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Spin again, please. All right. You were stuck with the Everland this time. And it lands on the category of the MCU. Okay. All right. I will proctor you your questions in the category of the MCU. Yep. All right, Mr. Bercala, your first question. In Spider-Man, Far From Home, what is Happy Hogan's password revealed to be? One, two, three, four. That is incorrect, Nick. The chance for the two point steal. I believe it's password. Oh, password yeah. is correct for the two point steal. All right, Tim, your second question. In Thor Ragnarok, which of Odin's artifacts does Hela call, quote, weak? Uh, the Tesseract. That is incorrect, Nick. The chance for the two point steal. It's the, I think it's the castle from Thor 1. That is correct for a two-point steal. The what? The frost giant casket. Oh, okay. All right, Tim, your third question in the MCU. How many MCU films has Michael Douglas appeared in to date? Repeat the question. As Tim's first repeat, how many MCU films has Michael Douglas appeared in to date? Three. That is correct for two points. Huge two points for Tim. Needed those ones. All right. Your penultimate question in the category of the MCU. In Guardians of the Galaxy, what nickname does Corman Day call Star Lord? Star Prince. That is correct for another two points. Another big two points. And your last question in the category of the MCU. In Avengers Infinity War, Tony and Strange have a tiff over Tony leaning on what artifact? Something of the cosmos, but I don't remember what it's called, so multiple choice. Your options are A, Cauldron of the Cosmos, B, Wand of Watoom, C, Ebony Blade, or D, The Darkhold? A. That is correct for one point. So at the end of round two, Nick has the lead 22 to Tim's 12. But anything can happen as we get to round number three, which is the betting round. It works like this. We're going to give you the category. You're going to tell us how many points you like to bet between zero and two points. If you get a question right, you will gain those points. If you get the question wrong, you will lose those points. We go until someone is mathematically eliminated or the score reaches zero. Any questions as we get to round number three? No. Nah. Mm -hmm. All right, then your first question that you can bet points on is from the category of YA dystopia. How many points would you like to bet on YA dystopia? <laughs> Tim had it written before you read the category. <laughs> Two, one. All right. Your question, YA dystopia. Who plays Claudius Templesmith in The Hunger Games? <laughs> How many did uh, Nick bet? One. I hope this is the person that's the name to throw out. <laughs> Five, four. Repeat the question. That is Tim's second repeat. Who plays Claudius Templesmith in The Hunger Games? Intense round, Robert. Five. Absolutely. One. Pens down. We'll start with Nick. Is that Toby Jones? And Tim. 
I don't even know who that is, so I didn't put anything. The answer is Toby Jones. Okay. All right. Your next question is going to come in the category of Jurassic Park. How many would you like to bet in Jurassic Park? Two. Tim going for two as well. And Nick? Zero. All right. Your question, Jurassic Park. What is the name of the organization that Claire founds in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Tim looks pretty confident with the way he's right. Yeah, I don't want to make funny quips anymore. This is serious now. I don't either. This isn't baseball anymore. No, Jim Green sucks. Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Nick for stats. Don't worry, it's wrong. Dinos are cool. That is incorrect, uh, but they are cool. Uh, Tim. Is it the Dinosaur Protection Group? That is correct for two points. Two huge points there. All right, your third question comes to the category of scores and soundtracks. How many points would you like to bet on scores and soundtracks? Two and zero again. All right, your question in the category of scores and soundtracks. Name both Disney animated films that have a soundtrack by Phil Collins. Both went to the boards pretty quickly at the words Phil Collins. Famous drummer from the Eagles. Five. Famous is a strong word. He's also not an Eagle. Yeah, why not? Repeat the question. That uh, is Tim's final repeat. Name both Disney animated films that have a soundtrack by Phil Collins. Duh. One. That's hands down. We'll start with Nick for stats. That would have been stupid. <laughs> Are you going Brother Bear? And Tim. I couldn't remember Brother Bear, but I got it at the last second. <laughs> Tarzan and Brother Bear. And your winner, Nick the Name Tuig. The answer was Tarzan and Brother Bear. Great, great Tim, match. Yeah, Tim had it correct, unfortunately, just not enough points. Tuig just barreled through his round two, and I think that's what, what did it for Tim. Tim had still a really good round, uh, gave up some steals there in the second round, but still played his heart out, played a great game. Nick now going on to challenge for the singles title, uh, but these two obviously still stand in solidarity as teammates and as team champions. Absolutely, and I will disappear and let these uh, first order fools have their day. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, I think the relaxed happened today. Like, I think that's basically what ended up happening with Tim. He was more relaxed than he's normally. So he would have, I think, took his time, but he ended up shooting his shot a little too soon on some of those questions that I think he knows the answers to. But I think this is honestly the, one of the perfect scenarios because two only loss right now is to Scully and yes. Scully batted a perfect game against him. So now it's time to see five rounds. Um, and Scully's been off for a long time now. The last match he played was against Knights of Ren. So, uh, sorry, Robert, to take your uh, interview time, but uh, no, it's it's fine. Uh, I don't know why I was left in here. <laughs> well, because you you were part of us. Uh, so That's one true. Point, I'm so. still I'm all behind. Uh, you guys, so. Uh, so no, I'm really excited. Uh, now the the work gets to uh, for uh, Nick to be prepared for that match. Uh, we'll, uh, it was three rounds. A lot can happen in three rounds. Uh, five rounds, it's even more. Um, and you, we played a, we played amazing last th uh, five round match. So uh, I'm excited. I think Scully needs to be very worried. Um, now I hold both Wait, faction members that have won both fandom tournaments. Um, so that's really cool. And um, congratulations to it. Congratulations, Tim. You got to this point. Now it's time to get to that belt. So. Yeah. Uh, how are you guys feeling? I know it's probably not the ideal circumstances to go out the way it went, but um, overall, great job. No, I mean I'm not mad that I didn't know who Buttfuck McGee from the Hunger Games was. Like that doesn't that doesn't bother me. Like I'm not I'm not mad. I missed that question. I would have I had been to mad. scroll for a while on IMDb to find him. I'm just gonna be personally <laughs> yeah. honest. No, for the for the MCU questions, I just yeah, like I thought. I knew it was something stupid like password, so I just thought it was like something typing in on your phone, but it was the other thing around. If I had gone multiple, I probably would have gotten it. Um, 
And I just thought it was the Tesseract for the other ones. So that's my bad. But yeah, no, Nick played great. He swept round two. That's why he's a great teammate because I clearly don't know why A is bet as good as he does. He knows it very well. We balance each other out in these types of things. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy that he's going to go take Scully's belt because it's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, first things first. The only reason, like the sole reason I am any good at this at all is because of Tim and because of Cody. Uh, they've not only given me access to, to movies I, I would not have had access to before, but they also like spend time with me making sure I could get to the finals here. Um, so I, I am nothing without, without uh, these two at this point. So, so thank you both. Uh, I am sorry it went down this way. Like those are just some rough questions. Um, and, and yeah, but I, mean, uh, I think, I think it's just time to say it. My loss was a fluke, absolute fluke. And, and it's not happening again. You can't bat a hundred percent in five rounds. Kelly. So good luck. You're going to need it. I'm taking your other belt too. Hopefully we spin Ant-Man for you on the, the wheel again. Cause he's clearly never seen it. Um, yeah. So with all that being said, I'm really excited. Uh, we, uh, we have a, another title defense. I think I can say that, but we have another mm -hmm. uh, match coming up uh, that we have to prepare for. So that's what this whole season's about. Uh, Tim will be back later this season to hopefully challenge uh, to a, in a think, five round match. That's the whole goal. So yeah, can uh, can Coho come in? Who who do I do I? We know who I have, right? Then you have one of these three people. You have oh. myself. You have RJ again. Or you have our mystery player that will be coming back in this second piece of the year. Mystery gotcha. Player. I know what you're talking about now. Fantastic. Thank you. So, I'm yeah, there. Scully, we'll see you soon. It's uh, it's time to get another belt in the first order. Let's go. All right. Uh, but that will do it for us. Uh, thank you, Robert and Cody, for being on the desk and being great co-hosts for me today. And that will bring an end once again to another Phantom Fight Summer Series Singles Tournament three in the can now it's kind of a weird thing to say but uh another strong finale uh what do you guys think of the match overall i just said my comments right there no uh that, that was a really good match uh obviously like tim i don't think strategically played anything wrong maybe goes to multiple choice on the password one uh but he bet how he needed to in that last one and he hit two of those questions that he needed to hit like he hit when he needed to he played the game right uh Tuig nailed round two and now Tuig is gonna go challenge scully and that's gonna be a really great match I, uh, yes, I think I think round three. I think round three was a just a not Tim round. I mean, the categories. Yeah, the it was three, YA the three park, categories. Those are and scoring. even Disney scores and soundtrack. Those are not Tim. Those are not Tim. Like he knows stuff about him. He just doesn't love the categories. So at that time, and YA was the first one with to just sweeping YA. So it was pretty much written in stone almost at that point. So uh, yeah, I I think you put any uh, new five categories out there and it could have been a totally different game, but yeah, I'm excited to throw the next, uh, the next match. It's going to be a blast. Absolutely. Well, you have a busy week next week, Cody, you have Knights of Ren and Necronomicon and Scully V2, two, both at Mayhem at the multiplex three. So stick around. Not even next week. That's this Saturday. What are you doing? You only have a couple of days. Uh, so get ready. For what is sure to be a great Mayhem and Multiplex. So thank you guys for watching. For everyone here, thank you so much. For everyone who's played in the Summer Series Tournament again this year, you helped make it what it is, another great tournament. Uh, thank you to Tim and Tuig who have helped run this whole thing and, of course, being the finalists. Uh, you guys played great to get here. You deserved it. Uh, thank you to Robert, to Cody, to absolutely every, every player who's been here, Rizzy, uh, RJ, Butler, Holtzman, everyone who's played. Uh, and we will see you all next year with another Summer Series tournament and the season start for me. We'll see you guys at Mayhem and Multiplex 3. But for everyone here, thank you so much for watching. See you guys real soon. We are so glad you came. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Are they all gone? Uh, is, is there is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? Good. <laughs>